Hello, and welcome to Wiki on Tape. Today, I will be reading about Nick Holoniak. This recording was made on Sunday, September 13, 2020 by Wiki on Tape V1.1.3. Let's get started. Summary Nick Holoniak Jr., born November 3, 1928, is an American engineer and educator. He is noted particularly for his 1962 invention of a light-emitting diode, LED, that emitted visible red light instead of infrared light. Holoniak demonstrated the LED on October 9, 1962 while working at General Electric's Research Laboratory in Syracuse, New York. He is a John Bardeen Endowed Chair Emeritus in Electrical and Computer Engineering and Physics at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, where he has been since leaving General Electric in 1963. Inventions In addition to introducing the EV alloy LED, Holoniak holds 41 patents. His other inventions include the red light semiconductor laser, usually called the laser diode, used in CD and DVD players and cell phones, and the shorted emitter PNPN switch, used in light dimmers and power tools. In 2006, the American Institute of Physics decided on the five most important papers in each of its journals since it was founded 75 years ago. Two of these five papers, in the journal Applied Physics Letters, were co-authored by Holoniak. The first one, co-authored with S. F. Bevacqua in 1962, announced the creation of the first visible light LED. The second, co-authored primarily with Milton Fung in 2005, announced the creation of a transistor laser that can operate at room temperatures. Holoniak predicted that his LEDs would replace the incandescent light bulb of Thomas Edison in the February 1963 issue of Reader's Digest, and as LEDs improve in quality and efficiency they are gradually replacing incandescence as the bulb of choice. Biography His parents were Russian immigrants. Holoniak's father worked in a coal mine. Holoniak was the first member of his family to receive any type of formal schooling. He once worked 30 straight hours on the Illinois Central Railroad before realizing that a life of hard labor was not what he wanted and he'd prefer to go to school instead. According to Knight Ritter, the cheap and reliable semiconductor lasers critical to DVD players, barcode readers and scores of other devices owe their existence in some small way to the demanding workload thrust upon downstate railroad crews decades ago. Holoniak earned his bachelor's 1950, master's 1951, and doctoral 1954, degrees in electrical engineering from the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. Holoniak was John Bardeen's first Ph.D. student there. Bardeen, a theoretical physicist, was the co-inventor of the transistor who ultimately won Nobel Prizes for that work and for the theory of superconductivity. In 1954 Holoniak went to Bell Telephone Laboratories, where he worked on silicon-based electronic devices. From 1955 to 1957 he served with the U.S. Army Signal Corps. From 1957 to 1963 he was a scientist at the General Electric Company's Advanced Semiconductor Laboratory in Syracuse, New York. In 1963, he became a professor at the University of Illinois, from which he retired 50 years later in 2013. University of Illinois as of 2007, he is the John Bardeen Endowed Chair Professor of Electrical and Computer Engineering and Physics at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign and is investigating methods for manufacturing quantum dot lasers. He has been married to his wife Catherine for 51 years. He no longer teaches classes, but he researches full-time. He and Dr. Milton Fung run a transistor laser research center at the university funded by $6.5 million from the United States Department of Defense through DARPA.10 of his 60 former doctoral students have developed new uses for LED technology at Philips Lumileds Lighting Company in Silicon Valley.
Awards and Honors Holoniak has been presented awards by George H. W. Bush, George W. Bush, Emperor Akihito of Japan and Vladimir Putin. In 1984, Holoniak was elected to the National Academy of Sciences. In 1989, he received the IEEE Edison Medal for an outstanding career in the field of electrical engineering with contributions to major advances in the field of semiconductor materials and devices. Holoniak's former student, Russell Dupuis from the Georgia Institute of Technology, won this same award in 2007. In 1992, he received the Charles Hard Towns Award of the Optical Society of America. In 1993, he received the NAS Award for the Industrial Application of Science. In 1995, he was awarded the $500,000 Japan Prize for Outstanding Contributions to Research and Practical Applications of Light-Emitting Diodes and Lasers. In 2001, he has also received the Frederick Ives Medal of the Optical Society of America. In 2003, he was awarded the IEEE Medal of Honor. In 2005, he was inducted as a laureate of the Lincoln Academy of Illinois and awarded the Order of Lincoln, the state's highest honor, by the Governor of Illinois in the area of science. On 9 November 2007, Holoniak was honored on the University of Illinois campus with a historical marker recognizing his development of the quantum well laser. It is located on the Bardeen Engineering Quadrangle near where the old Electrical Engineering Research Laboratory used to stand. In 2008, he was inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame, announced February 14, 2008, May 2-3, 2008 at Akron, Ohio. In 2015, he received the Charles Stark Draper Prize for Engineering, for the invention, development, and commercialization of materials and processes for light-emitting diodes LEDs. In September 2018 the village of Glen Carbon, Ill placed an honorary street sign on behalf of Dr. Nick Holoniak to honor the former resident of the village. Village officials, family, and friends gathered to honor and remember Dr. Holoniak who lived with his family on South Meridian Road. He has also received the Global Energy International Prize, the National Medal of Technology, the Order of Lincoln Medallion, and the 2004 Lemelson MIT Prize also worth $500,000. Many colleagues have expressed their belief that he deserves the Nobel Prize for his invention of the red LED. On this subject, Holoniak says, it's ridiculous to think that somebody owes you something. We're lucky to be alive, when it comes down to it. In October 2014, Holoniak reversed his stance by stating, I find this one insulting. In reaction to news that the inventors of the blue LED were awarded the 2014 Nobel Prize in Physics, instead of his fellow LED researchers. Thanks for listening to Wiki on Tape. I hope you drop by again sometime. Goodbye.